Well, blessings, everybody. I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama, and I thank you for joining with us in this study. We're looking at Hosea, and this is the third lesson, video number one. Uh, be certain that you read the scripture passage right here, okay? We're seeing, uh, in this lesson, we're actually covering chapters uh, 7 through 10, and boy, there's some tough things right here because it's such tragic times to see what was going on. Let me challenge you with this. I'll say it again at, the, at this video, but I think there's a lot to be said to us as a people and us as a nation, regardless of where you live, uh, listen to what the Lord may be saying. So what we see right here is that the Lord longed to heal Israel. And what he's describing right here at the very beginning is they had problems from within, domestic sins, shall we say, problems within. And he says, but when he considered doing so, healing them, there was just continual evidence of their sin. Now, God could have healed them instantly anytime he wanted to. But the way that the Lord is functioning right here is he was wanting the people to come to him, okay? He says there was iniquity, there was evil, the falsehood, wickedness, adultery, there was pride. They knew what not to do, and they knew what to do, and yet they did not do what they were supposed to do. And yet they did not consider that God remembered these sins against him. Okay, He knew what they had done. Their deeds were all around him, and it actually said in the scripture there that their deeds were before God's face. Before his face, that's what happens when we sin. We're, we're before his face like that. And so here's what was going on. The people and the priests lied to the kings and the princes to make them happy. The political leaders rejoiced in it and in their wickedness because it made it easier for them to get away with sinning. But they were all angry. And they plotted against each other and they consumed each other. We're not sure when this particular message of Hosea's was brought forth. I remember there's several messages in this book and they were spoken over a period of uh, 40 to 45 years. But uh, part of what is happening right here, I think we've already seen in the kings. Remember how um, Shalom had killed Zechariah, then Menachem had killed Shalom, and then Pekah killed Pekaniah and Hoshea. Um, I spelled that wrong, sorry. Hoshea killed uh, Pekah. These kings were killing one another and consuming one another and plotting with one another. And I think Hosea was prophesying during this time saying, this is what's going on. You're all adulterers. Physically and spiritually, you've all turned away and you turned away from the Most High God. And then he says, you're like a heater, a heated baker's oven, a very, very hot oven. It's so hot that if you leave it uh, untended overnight, the flame will st still be there. You know why the bread is arising? Then you just tend it in the morning and the fire comes back. He says, you are like that. And uh, verses 5 through 7 actually describe this plotting and how they were doing this. Uh, that they stretched out their hands, they joined with scoffers, they were plotting, and their anger was just smoldering. He said, all of them are like a hot oven, and they consume their rulers, and all their kings have fallen. None of them called on God. None of the kings called on God, and I dare say that none of the people called on God. So I ask you to do that, to give some consideration to what is the Lord saying to us today within political leadership, within religious leadership. Where are the ones who truly, truly call upon the name of the Lord? I uh, thank you for being with me, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.